I usually spend three hours Facebook, blog, generally researching things. I'm not that comfortable with the amount of time I'm spending on the internet. I probably should spend a lot less. What about texting? Oh, way too much. I have a personal and a work Blackberry. That's pretty bad, I know. One of the problems with living in an always-on society is we perceive the need to always be on. It's just that because technology has come on scene, we believe that somehow, and the marketing has convinced us, that it's a better way of doing it. I'm not convinced it is. Oh, Dana is updating his relationship status on Facebook. Everybody has a Blackberry. Um, we're on Blackberries pretty much all the time. It's a total communications tool because you're an MP 24 hours a day. You might as well you know, have the tool that keeps you being an MP 24 hours a day. Actually, it's called the productivity paradox. The more you invest in technology, actually, the less productive your people are. We're maybe working on the computer, but we're waiting for another buzz or ping or something that might be slightly more interesting. And so our brains are kind of on alert, waiting for new information to come in from the environment. Your cell phone ringing, the ads on your laptop and everything on the internet is, is so attractive. And what's happening is that they're destroying the central resource, which is our ability to focus. All these media are just aggressively suiting our attention and there's just no attention left. <laughs> He's on his phone! <laughs> When they're not using the technology, they crave it. It's interfering with their everyday lives. They're secretive about it. It really fits in with that addictive behavior pattern. All of the partners talked about the fact that they come in and they don't even say hi to me. They're on the thing as they walk in the door. It's beside them at the dinner table. It buzzes. Our data says it's associated with increased levels of stress, increased levels of burnout, decreased job satisfaction, decreased life satisfaction, increased marital uh, conflict. So all of those kinds of things would suggest that it's not utopia.